Why is Salesforce stock, ticker symbol CRM, going up so much? In the last five days, the stock is up nearly 30% and this is no small company. In fact, Salesforce sits at nearly a $250 billion market cap, making it one of the largest companies in the entire world. So what's going on with the stock? Why is it moving in this manner? Well, there are two things that actually happened with Salesforce directly that affected the company this week. And that's what I wanna discuss here in this video with you guys. Before we get into that guys, if you enjoy these kind of quick update videos, just hit that like button down below to let me know. It helps the channel out a ton and it lets me know what kind of content to keep creating for you guys. Okay, so getting right into it, the first piece of news that actually came out earlier this week around Salesforce was the inclusion in the DAO. On Tuesday, 25th of August, it was announced that Exxon Mobile, which is a longtime component of the DAO, was being removed and replaced by none other than Salesforce. But why is this a good thing for Salesforce, you may be wondering. Well, when a company is added to the DAO, it is likely to boost a company's reputation with the general public, and this in turn could drive potential business and make it more of a household name. Jeremy Siegel, who is a finance professor at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, also added that just in terms of name recognition, he thinks a lot of people are going to look it up and say, hey, what does Salesforce do? Maybe if the DAO thinks it's good, we should use it. And guys, I personally tend to agree with this kind of line of thinking here. If a company is in the Dow 30, it typically adds instant credibility and confidence in investing in that individual business for one's portfolio. Also keep in mind, when a company is added to the Dow, that means that any indexes that mimic the Dow have to be rebalanced to include that stock in. Now the Dow is supposed to reflect this as of next week with Salesforce in there, Exxon out of there. And as a result, all these funds that reflect the Dow 30 will also be buying a Salesforce stock. So that's the first thing that got investors excited because it just means more inflow of cash into this stock. And on this news, shares of Salesforce are traded up 3% as investors got excited and the overall response to this was positive and accepted by the investing community. So this is pretty much how Salesforce started off the week and not bad, eh? But the big kahuna, the, the big piece of news that actually moved this stock significantly was their Q2 earnings. Guys, this is one of the strongest earnings reports we've seen in this quarter from any company out there. And it really sets this company up for success, uh, for you know confidence with investors, confidence in the industry. And it really was just an overall incredible earnings report. In my opinion, this is what you'd call pretty much a perfect quarter here for this company or any company because they beat on all three metrics that investors look at revenue EPS and guidance. So looking at the highlights here, revenue came in at $5.15 billion for the quarter, and this is up 29% year over year. Operating cash flow was essentially flat as they continue to grow the business as well. Current remaining performance obligation was up 26% year over year, and remaining performance obligation was up 21% year over year. Now, if you're not familiar with these metrics, which I'm sure most of you have never heard of before, remaining performance revenue or RPOs represents all future revenue under contract that has not yet been recognized as revenue and current RPO represents future revenue under contract that is expected to be recognized as revenue in the next 12 months. And then in the earnings report, we got to the fun part here, which was their guidance. The company raised fiscal year 2021 revenue guidance to around 21 to 20% year over year. They raised operating cash flow growth to 12 to 13% year over year. And overall, it's a strong growth expected year over year, which clearly has investors expected cited here. In a table view, we can see just how strong of a quarter this company really had despite the global issue and despite fears of spending slowdown with their customers. Their operating margin has increased by 200 basis points, which shows continued strength of the company becoming more and more efficient with their capital. This chart here shows us just how much stronger their revenue was for Q2 versus every other quarter in the past. And what I see here is a steady, consistent growth from this company, not only year over year, but also quarter over over a quarter, which means that despite any climate or seasonal spending or anything like that, the company just continues to push through with growth. Now what's also very interesting with Salesforce specifically is their revenue model, their business model. The company is software based, the company is focused on subscription, 
And unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the market right now is hot for these kind of stocks. In fact, if you go through and just look at some SaaS companies, software service companies, over the last few months since their March lows, a lot of them are up two times, three times, five times, even more because of the optimism around these businesses in this climate. You can see here that they break down their four main segments and they saw increases across the board, the biggest being in Salesforce platform and other at 66% year over year growth. The other metrics here weren't bad either guys with low double digit growth as well. The company also managed to strengthen their cash on their balance sheet growing 54% year over year and now sits at $9.3 billion which is extremely healthy. I think the market has now realized that CRM Salesforce will be a cash generating machine which has resulted in the stock price movement that we've seen recently. Another big metric investors love looking at for any business and guys I would encourage you to do this for any stocks you hold is to see where this company CRM Salesforce sits against their competitors. How much of a market share do they have? How much market share do their competitors have? Where does it really sit? Are they a laggard? Are they a leader? Are they kind of somewhere in between? Well, this really shows us exactly where Salesforce sits and they have an 18.4% market share where their next closest competitor sits at 5.3% market share. So there's more than a 3x lead that CRM has on the competition here, which is just incredible. And once again, and instills confidence in investors that this business is doing things right and is well on their way to growing their market share year over year to continue maintaining their lead. It's really crazy that they're competing with other giants like SAP, Oracle, Microsoft, and Adobe. And while the other companies battle it out for number two, three, four, five, Salesforce just continues cruising along at that coveted number one spot. So why does Salesforce keep going up? Well, now you know the answer to it. There were two big things this week and both things really got investors excited. A lot more money is flowing into the stock. And as a result, the stock price is moving higher. So if you are a Salesforce investor, congratulations. This was a very, very strong quarter and the future of this business looks extremely bright. Now guys, if you want me to make a more in-depth video on Salesforce, if you're considering this as an investment, you want to see my typical analysis videos where I go in-depth, talk about the business, their financials, all that kind of fun stuff, let me know in the comment section down below and if there's enough interest, I will make a video on that. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.